I've recently come across what I found was a really useful distinction. Um, and it's a distinction between whether we're in learning mode or performance mode. Let me, let me try and explain. When I go into settings on my television, uh, I can change the quality of the sound and there are some preset things I can choose. I can choose classical music or popular music or movies or documentaries. And inside the television, that changes a whole lot of different frequency settings. So the overall quality of the sound is different. Our minds are the same. We can flip between different general settings. And two of the most important ones, I think, are what you might call learning mode or performance mode. And which of those modes we're in makes a big difference to a variety of different aspects of the way we respond, particularly the way we respond to something that's new or strange or confusing or, uh, or, or unpredictable. When we're in learning mode, um, our focus is on improving. We want to get better long term at things. When we're in performance mode, the focus is on trying to produce a flawless execution, trying to succeed to the best of our ability or trying to impress to the extent that we, that we, that we can. When we're in learning mode, we, our attention is on information that would help us improve, that would help us learn better. When we're in performance mode, our attention might be on how am I going down? Am I impressing well? Am I succeeding? There's a big difference in the way we respond, the way we feel about mistakes. When I'm in learning mode, mistakes are inevitable. They're just part and parcel of the learning process. If I, if, if I, I, wouldn't, if I wasn't making mistakes, I wouldn't be learning. Uh, I'm trying new things out, things that I haven't nailed yet. So, of course, they're not going to be perfect. They're not going to be adequate. But when I'm in performance mode, when I'm on the stage playing my concerto or um, running around on the football field in the cup final, mistakes can be disastrous. They're things that I don't want to have happen. My attitude to feedback is going to be different. In learning mode, if you give me feedback, which will help me improve, you're my coach or my friend, thank you very much. That's very nice of you. That's really useful information. But if someone shouts out in the middle of the performance, hey, guy, you played a bum note there, then I'm not going to be that pleased. It's going to feel like I've been heckled, like I'm someone's trying to, trying to put me down. Even my attitude to cheating might be different. If I'm in learning mode, cheating is completely pointless. Why would I? It's just sort of ripping myself off in a way if I cheat. But when, if I'm really stuck into performance mode, if the only thing that matters is to create the appearance of success, then it might, even, it might seem like a rational option for me to download something from the internet and try and pass it off as if, as if it were my own, if getting an A grade is the only thing that matters. So flipping between these two modes is really important. Both of them are useful.